Bella Bartok, 1881-1945. Bartok was born in Hungary. His father died when Bella was seven. His mother had to move from town to town while she earned a living as a school teacher. She gave him his first piano lessons. For 27 years, Bartok taught piano at his alma mater, the Budapest Academy of Music. He gave recitals throughout Europe. During the early 1900s, Bartok was influenced by the nationalist movement. He came to love the music of Hungarian peasants and in his free time, he was traveling to small villages and recording folk songs with a cylinder phonograph. Bartok became a leading authority on the peasant music of the Magyars, Romanians, Slovaks and Turks and Arabs of North Africa. His own music was soon profoundly affected by folk music. Bartok was recognized abroad as an important composer early in his career. He was neglected in Hungary and after 1911, for a short period of time, he refused to perform in Hungary. During the 1920s, he performed his works throughout Europe. He also toured the United States. Hitler's rise posed a serious problem for Bartok, who was anti-Nazi. After the annexation of Austria by Germany in 1939, Bartok did not want to return to his homeland. He did not allow his music to be performed in Germany and Italy. In 1940, Bartok emigrated from Hungary to the USA. This was a bleak period for him. He had little money, he was in poor health, and he felt isolated and neglected. In 1943, his health declined alarmingly. He entered a New York hospital where he unexpectedly received a commission for the concerto for orchestra, which is his best known work. The success of its first performance in 1944 resulted in a series of commissions for the once ignored composer. Tragically, Bartok had only a year to live and could write just two more compositions. Soon after his death in 1945 in New York, Bartok became one of the most popular 20th century composers. Bartok's music evolved individual style that fused folk elements, classical form and 20th century sounds. Folk melodies were built on church modes and Greek modes or the pentatonic scale. Bartok arranged many Hungarian, Romanian folk tunes, often giving them highly dissonant accompaniments. Bartok's music embraces a wide range of emotions and is deeply expressive. Bartok reinterpreted traditional forms such as the rondo, fugue, and sonata form. Bartok unifies contrasting movements of a composition by bringing back a theme in transformed versions. Bartok always organized his works around a tonal center. Within this tonal framework, he often used harsh dissonances, polychords and tone clusters. Rhythmically, his music is characterized by powerful beat, unexpected accents and changing meters. To shape a tone color, Bartok liked to use percussion instruments. Bartok's six string quartets are widely thought to be among the finest since those of Beethoven. 
and now let's listen to some of Bartok's music. 